So hi everybody uh, from sunny Amsterdam. It's a really nice Sunday afternoon. Uh, hi to Ginat and special thanks uh, for her uh, making and creating this uh, space for us to share all the uh, knowledge and, ex and experience. And also hi to everybody. I think we have uh, international uh, participants, uh, audience, and uh, from I think all over the Netherlands, especially England. Hi to Martin <laughs> and many friends, uh, also from Czech Republic and all over. Um, I uh, like uh, to uh, tell you shortly uh, how this class uh, will be uh, done because we have a 45 minutes bullet train uh, trip. So I hope you are ready for it. And we will go uh, shortly through the general approach to common ailments. Uh, we will uh, uh, set up, or at least I will try to help you to set up your uh, medicine home cabinet, your travel uh, kit, and also your medicinal garden, some suggestions and tips. Uh, we will do practical demonstration on a few folk medicine and uh, compresses and plasters. Uh, I will show you some recommended study material and we will have uh, at the end, uh, let's say last 10 minutes, the question and answer. And this is also the moment I would like to ask you to keep up, keep up your question till the end, uh, unless you are of course burning questions, so you may write it in the chat. And uh, afterwards we will wrap up and we will make a space for all the other lovely speakers, starting then with Asako and uh, Dylan and Jane, etc. So are you ready? <laughs> um, I actually saw the starting first from this, uh, the general approach. Uh, there is a one uh, big rule. And that is uh, that if any, either the minor or major uh, accidents, either at home or at your work or just on the street when you travel uh, happens, uh, you need to act quick. And either when you don't know what to do or even you know what to do and there is the life directly in danger, you need to call this emergency number, which is 112 for, I think that's the, the international. Because you know that the uh, the seconds then tells, huh? but uh, hopefully you will know uh, or you don't need to have this such a serious uh, situation and stuff, and it will be just a minor thing. So we will uh, focus on this, and also uh, what I like to mention. Well, they say they'll for sure a disclaimer in a way of uh, any uh, the, the suggestions, the thoughts and tips, etc. They shouldn't be, of course, instead of a professional medical approach or your uh, advice of your general physician. So if you have any of the health conditions uh, or you um, think I may have some condition, then please uh, contact the, your general physician and uh, or professional approach, or of course, experienced macrobiotic consular or natural uh, dietist uh, consular. And uh, also with the questions, maybe later on, uh, if there will be uh, personal questions and uh, we will need to go through details or more into the detail, then we just uh, we will do it through an email uh, or direct messaging, etc. So uh, I made uh, the list uh, with uh, because I thought uh, what in my experience uh, uh, I went through uh, with all different and common uh, ailments, and it was like uh, constipation, uh, diarrhea. Uh, cuts and bruises, uh, the burns, a uh, sore throat, uh, elevated the temperature, uh, seasonal allergies, um, uh, bites by not animals, <laughs> by the <laughs> by the insects, uh, or like uh, taking of the tick. Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, of course for the women, menstruation cramps, pre-menstruation, after menstruation. Uh, oh yeah, toothache, also a very good one, and uh, oh yeah, headache, of course. So uh, let's now check 
what we can have in our, well, let's say, in the Karazmiaka medicinal kit to uh, do uh, things. And of course, when you, when I Google up uh, the, um, uh, a common medicinal kit, uh, it, uh, uh, there were three first things. There was a paracetamol, uh, there was a nasal spray, and there was, let me check, there was this uh, oh yeah, anti-itch medicine. And um, you actually, or in, in general, for generations, people were dealing with, with, with this common elements, actually with the ingredients, uh, what they had at home or in the garden, on the field. Uh, and uh, all actually the modern medicine, uh, like a pills or the, the, the creams, etc. it's, done uh, based on the na nature and the plants and uh, uh, from the trees, from the wood, from the, from the flowers, etc. So I will also now not mention what can be in your medicine cabinet and the travel kit, but also which plants, like I think a five, uh, to have in your medicinal garden. So let me maybe start with the plants because this is the most natural what we can see here. Uh, I took, um, yesterday, we were coming from our depot, and that's uh, more like 45 kilometers from Amsterdam. And uh, so I had to know, can you recognize this plant? Anybody knows? You have to be actually kind of careful when you are touching Stingy it. Stinging nettle. Especially stinging nettle, precisely. When you're touching it from the top, there are those uh, icicles, which then makes the burns. But when you have it from the bottom, Day, it's fine. Also, uh, I took this one because it's very nice for the general blood cleansing. So that's also very good when you have a seasonal allergies. And of course, number one is, where is it? <laughs> Your daily food. Huh? So ideal food pattern and what you are uh, putting in, huh? into the body. So is it more plant-based? or is this more this, uh, more modern food uh, diet? So that's very important. But, so to help, uh, what is nice, and I'll also make it in a minute, will be the um, uh, nettle tea. So I have it already done here. So that would be also keep it in your garden. Don't uh, uh, cut it away uh, when you cut your grass. It's very handy. And uh, another one, uh, Maybe Kinat will know and recognize, anybody will recognize. Uh, it's, this is a dark color uh, from the top and from the bottom, it's like a light uh, gray uh, or whitish. This plant is mugwort. Very good also for the, um, for the blood cleansing, for the iron. You can make many condiments from it. And also you can use it uh, the Dutch name, and that helps more like where would you use it, it's a by food, and meaning like putting it next or into your shoes. Huh? So it helps for the blisters, huh? very good. And you may know it from the um, acupuncture, they use it uh, dry in these moxa sticks. Huh? So very, very good plant. And it's also delicious in tempura. Okay, but it's another cooking class. <laughs> <laughs> then, Another a plant I have here, also that you should have in your garden. I just pick it, pick it up uh, in my balcony. Uh, can you recognize? You would, if you could smell it, has a uh, very nice, uh, you put it into the toothpaste mint. or in your- uh, yeah, mint. Um, mint, yeah, fresh mint. Yeah, very spearmint, yeah. yeah. So it's a very good one also when, when you make a tea for your stomach, uh, when you either eat too heavy food, too fatty food. So it's very much helpful. And another plant I have here, it's actually, you can see it in the, it's, it's like a brother and sister, but I have only now one of those siblings. Can you see? As a grapes from the bottom. And there is this uh, little, now it's a bit, because we, I was picking it up yesterday. <laughs> Usually it's standing right up. Uh, it's uh, the Latin name is Plantago. 
I thought uh, so. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, the, the, the plantain. Uh, plantain. Yeah, thank you, because again, I know it in Czech, it's Jitrocel. In Dutch, it's Weegbrei. And again, like more from the Dutch name, it helps you, it uh, grows next to the roads, uh, also like in the forest or in the fields. Uh, and it's a very, very, very good plant to use uh, also for the toothache, for anything, for the rushes, um, for the also the, the, the insects bites. And also when you have like um, a little bit later the present the, the application of the tofu plaster and Chinese cabbage plaster, but of course sometimes when you're in the field and things happens you don't have a Chinese cabbage to run to supermarket. So this is fantastic plant and the sister of this one it's more a smaller and more broader leaf, but with the same ridges. Well, so this is ideal then actually to either crush like this or what you do you really put it into your mouth you chew on it huh? and it directly gives um, a cooling liquid huh? and that you apply and it's very cooling off and helping to either uh, stop uh, bleeding huh? to help to close the wounds etc so and also when you are walking a lot huh? either in the city or when you are in the nature then if you start or if you feel to have a blisters, you put it into your shoes and it goes also very well with it. So that was the, uh, the, your uh, medicinal garden still with one plant more. And that, now I don't have here the fresh one. So this is just an, a dry leaf. And uh, so probably you can you may not recognize it, but this is a sage. This is an amazing plant, also you know it from the, the, the generation of books, uh, helps uh, actually uh, also antibacterial, uh, anti-inflammatory and we use it on uh, like when you have a sore throat or if you like to have it for the, uh, the mouse water, you can make it uh, always after brushing your teeth and um, also helpful yeah, when you feel coming through etc so it to help us also to go through the all the COVID uh, years so this were the plants and i will come later on to the other things uh, let me see the time and um, now let's see the cabinet it will be kind of funny <laughs> Uh, I will just mention some things and in the details we can go into other questions. What is very handy is calendula. Uh, calendula, you can, yeah, from Veleda has a very good uh, quality, actually excellent quality to have for any kind of, uh, also when you have a wound or also after the burns, etc. So it's just a white, a cream, very nice uh, smelling, uh, you apply. And the, the skin gets soft, and it, all the healing abilities from Calendula are excellent. We, we will have a time. If you know the plant, I have it just on the balcony. Beautiful orange plant. Now this we will need later. So it's all different bandages uh, with these little thingies. Very handy huh? to keep it on the spot. But we come to that. <clears throat> Uh, oh yeah, this one, <laughs> this one, it's funny, even though it's not a Scottish whiskey, but this is an uh, uh, alcohol, it's from my uh, mom and grandmother's place, it's actually the, the fermented plants, and natural alcohol, uh, it's actually working as a, a antiseptic and as a, uh, no, the English word, no, disinfection. Kind of, the disinfection, yes, for the disinfection. So either also when you have wounds of, of cuts or also disinfection in your uh, throat. Huh? When you have a sore throat, it also helps to either gurgle or like I always say, it's a pity to spit it out. <laughs> you just have a little teaspoon, which we had always in the evening was through also this uh, flu pandemic. Anyway, so this one is handy to have. Uh, I made, or this one is, for example, this is a chestnut uh, uh, oil, but wild, uh, from wild chestnuts. 
and this is very good for, of course, for your um, uh, blood vessels, and especially for uh, varicosa veins, huh? if you have. Um, uh, here I have, an, um, I use, some people have ex good experience with lavender oil. I have a very good experience with the uh, almond oil, and I made uh, my own mixture by adding the rosemary and a clove, and a few drops of lavender oil. It smells delicious. And you also use it, I use it as a, this is actually my only cosmetics for the, <laughs> for the skin, but also you can use it when you have after the burns huh, to cool off and help to heal up uh, the skin. So this is handy. Um, for sure, to measure your temperature. Uh, even though when you have experience, you will see when someone has a temperature because with more glassy eyes, and of course, when you touch oh, the forehead, you uh, feel when someone has it, but when you want to measure a bit more precisely, definitely handy. Um, so <laughs> here's it in check. Uh, this is a clove. <laughs> this is very good uh, to make an oil. Um, uh, uh, to put the cloth in oil because it's very good for your teeth when you have a toothache. No? So it's helping gums. and the gums. Yeah. So this is very handy. Uh, before we get to all the, oh yeah, of course. Especially for the, all the cooks, I always travel with this. You need a plaster <laughs> because that will be also handy for the for the cuts. And uh, uh, yeah, the scissors, because we will need them. And uh, let me see. OK, I have also this one. <laughs> Let's see if I see what is this. It's made of wood. It's approximately like a, we were measuring it. The best is four and a half, five centimeter of ball. And this one is very good either, of course, massaging your hands and the acupuncture points on that, but also massaging your belly helping when you feel unwell huh? but also then especially when you put it on the floor and you start to roll your feet over it it helps enormously also with your uh, back pain huh? or any kind of uh, uh, stagnation huh? so that's one is handy uh, this definitely a body brush huh? for the massage to help to support the blood circulation and uh, uh, support the, the discharge through all the lymph uh, lymphatic system. It helps very much. So every morning or in the evening, you brush your whole body. It's very good. Uh, I have here also, an, uh, anybody recognize what it is? Hyra warmer. Huh? <laughs> Hara Homer, yeah, 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 Haramaki, very good. So it's actually, uh, let me show you. <laughs> so, uh, actually, of course, you had buried under, <laughs> but this keeps either your body. So, for the women, uh, when either the, during the pregnancy or after, huh, to keep your belly nicely supported, and also, of course, your kidneys. Huh? So either wearing it in the winter or also during the warm days, it's always good. And otherwise it's also very helpful if there is a situation, somebody fall, you know, like what happened to us, we were going on the green light, but still the car went and went to us on the bicycle, we fall down, so I have a bit like bruised ribs. So then when you need to keep the, the tofu plaster or Chinese cabbage plaster on the spot, so this is also very helpful. So let me undress again. <laughs> so this is very handy. And uh, now, oh yeah, still the salt. Salt is very good. Either when you have, no, I have it here, either the sea salt, or we have now, and we're very happy that we can get it. This is a special salt um, also with some base baking uh, soda and with uh, um, very fine grinded uh, nine precious stones. And this is very alkalizing. So you may use it 
of course this normal salt in the cooking or in your food baths or in the normal whole body baths if you have a bath uh, tap but uh, it helps also like when we when you have an, uh, an headache or you just you're too busy in your head uh, when you have uh, acidic uh, conditions uh, either more uh, serious like a chronic diseases or just uh, you don't feel well and you do like foot baths to, together with the salt is very helpful just five minutes and all what is here it just calms down uh, uh, also you use it for the salt packs uh, warm salt packs it's different than the ginger compress because that it would be that's more uh, wet heat this is then more dry heat so for different conditions but so very important and then actually now it comes the whole bench of the umeboshi products because this is really amazing uh, thing and you see it all different uh, sizes this is uh, the mini uh, I have here then the normal size, a uh, bit more like this. Um, this is the travel pack, uh, when you have uh, just a little container or well, the old film rolls. They always fit their streets, so I have it in my backpack. Uh, then there are those, those Uma balls. This is really cute. I have them here that you can, uh, that you can see. Can you see them? Uh, they are uh, actually the umeboshi just quickly said it's the uh, fermented ume plum so it's picked raw and then it's put with the salt and let's ferment it for almost two years and then later on in order to get there a color you put there a shizo a leaf so that it get, turns actually pink but these ones are without salt and it's actually those raw plums and they are boiled for 48 hours. It's like when for the Dutch people you want to do the apple water or pear, a pear jam. And then if they are being, uh, well, then you make a bowl. So they are kind of uh, sour and I always keep them with me uh, in my bag. And when you travel, when you have just slight headache or you don't feel well, you feel tired, it's very good to either take, uh, I usually take two, uh, and you can also take them uh, once or twice a day, but then uh, you don't need them every day. But it's very handy. Uh, this is another form of them. Well, this one I again the Meboshis. This time uh, they are a bit smaller. You see, to compare the big one with the small ones, and there is a salt. Uh, so it's more like a taste wise, what do you prefer? Uh, oh, yeah, there is this uh, surely. Uh, ume concentrate. This is a very good stuff, uh, especially for uh, like a headache if it's more in the back or when you have a menstruation pain. Um, yeah, for any uh, also quick pains. Mm -hmm. And you actually do the cookie chatty, you pour it over and you drink it. So this is very good. And this is more like um, uh, it's like in the back. And this is already umeboshi paste, it's instant. Uh, umeboshi paste with a shoyu uh, or tamari in it. And again, it's not good to travel with. You put it to the jar and pour in hot water and it's ready. Uh, so this was in a, a very high speed. <laughs> Let's put it aside and um, I want to go now, yes, to show the, uh, some practical stuff, what to do. Aside, that we make a space for what we need. Yes, I will need a red pen. <laughs> so we don't need this one anymore. Uh, we don't need this one. I didn't mention yet the kuzu, but that will come in a minute. So I wanted to share with you a few actually uh, things. 
I would like to just show you for practicality the sage tea and the uh, metal tea. So I have here, so because often people ask, how do I make it? So you just pick a tops from the metal and they are three in one cup. And for the sage tea, it would be like a five leaves approximately. Yeah. So I just uh, put uh, uh, water to boil. So that's what is happening. There's just pan with the water, nothing else. And in the meantime, I like to show you uh, because I don't need the fire, so we will do the first one. When there is a situation that someone either fall down or there is a heat in the body which needs to be cooled down, or when you also, uh, if you would burn yourself. Uh, so with the burns, it's simple. You would need to either directly uh, use a lukewarm water. So not ice, ice water or not, of course, hot water, not at all, but just look for water to cool it off. And that can be quite some time. Huh? Because what happens when you burn yourself, for example, the body starts to take the liquid from the body to the spot in order to cool down. And uh, another thing, so that's to look for water, is actually very handy. Uh, I got here, it's not yet open, just checking. This is a tofu. And tofu, uh, just the very simple one. So not marinated, not deep fried, just uh, raw. raw. Uh, you take off the liquid because we don't need it, at least not for the not for the first add. And we just gently press now the liquid out. And I will now uh, ask my lovely assistant. <laughs> uh, so let me introduce you, Karel, uh, my husband. Hello, everybody. And the Good baby, afternoon. and also the undercover language help desk sometimes. Yes. And uh, imagine, so there was a situation uh, that a person fell down, let's say maybe here. And uh, so you feel, of course, this. Uh, uh, this will not help much when, of course, the broken bones. Uh, it helps by the, even though it may help to cool off the place, but of course, when the, 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 the bones are broken, you need to fix them, uh, etc. Or the rentgen is needed, uh, you, need to go to, you may need to go to the hospital, etc. But with the, with the hits, so if you either yourself fall down or someone on the bicycle, or just kids, huh? they're running and then punch the knee, uh, anything. So this is very helpful and it, it doesn't hurt, you know? So uh, depending, let's say that, that it happened here. Well, that's why I need the red pen. Well, so this is the <laughs> area. <laughs> and um, don't take only like you would cut the tofu in half just to put it directly here, no you cover as much as possible the area. So what I will do, you see the thickness, it's maybe like, um, I don't know, two centimeter, but that's not needed. So I will cut it in the middle. And what you need, just a moment. Uh, okay, just the water is boiling for the tea because we will let it, so we will let it steep for uh, oh, 15 minutes before the end of the class. Okay. So you see the metal, the sage, we just put them aside because we don't do anything with them and we come back to the tofu. So what else you need, you just take a dry towel and you add this half of the tofu and you gently Press it. The other half, you keep it in the fridge or in the cool spot. So, okay, yeah? And then what you do, you just apply, yeah? Keeping there. And then in order to keep it on the spot, you need the cotton cloth, so no plastic or not polyester, just the natural one. 
not wet, it's dry. And then uh, the bandage just simply gentle, not making it too tight, but it's still uh, the blood can stream there. So you just check, is it okay? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. The end, you just fold in. This is those handy things with the hooks. And there you go. Fix, how do you feel? I feel great. Okay, how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, it's nice cooling. Okay, it's cooling. Calming. Uh, calming. And for, how long, for how, how long do you need to keep it there? It usually takes at the beginning like uh, maybe 15 minutes. Huh? before you don't feel the coldness of the tofu. Because actually it works like a sponge. Huh? It, takes, it takes the heat from the spot into itself. Huh? So after 15 minutes, when it's no, not cooling anymore, you take it away, you throw it away, and you take the new one and you apply. So maybe at the beginning, you need to like, be like a four compresses in one hour, just first cooling off. Yeah, and also number one, if you have it with you, uh, so you like one? This is works. Okay. <laughs> Even though, but you are not asking that your client, <laughs> you just give them to the mouse. You take the umeboshi, uh, but when they are conscious, uh, and Carol is so conscious, conscious <laughs> because what I'm saying that there is a pit, uh, there is a seed inside of the umeboshi. If someone would be unconscious, they could uh, choke uh, themselves. But now, as uh, Carol is conscious, <laughs> so that's the first step. Of course, alkalizing, anti shock, anti anything. Because, of course, you, uh, who knows the umeboshi, uh, you know that it's quite a uh, strong taste, intensive taste, salty, sour. And for those who don't know, they, will, they would really wake up. <laughs> um, so, that's the one approach. The other one, I need to sh can show you on the other hand. <laughs> so we need a pen again. And let's say another uh, is that, uh, let me take away the tofu. And now I have here the Chinese cabbage. Well, actually, you know, when you are, okay, in the city, then it would be the, you run to the supermarket. It happened to us, we were on the bicycle trip and it was uh, rainy, you know, and when we, we were going kind of slow, but it was very beautiful, the trees and nature, and I was looking around and then suddenly I was on the floor uh, with the bike. <laughs> And, and again, my ribs, I hit and I, and I felt, oh, this is not good. I mean, it was not broken, but it didn't feel good. And I said, okay, Karel, we need to find the supermarket. <laughs> so we went to the supermarket and I had the bandages with me, but in case, huh? uh, so we bought a, a cabbage and we bought a tofu and, we, and I was half undressed and we started to apply these compresses, but it was very helpful because no sweating nothing and the next morning I didn't feel anything and it was quite uh, well serious yeah <laughs> yeah no it was it was painful <laughs> anyway so either in this case as I was showing before you would use like uh, this uh, plantain and then you would need more of them of course but just the crushing them they give the juice yeah and then uh, we would be, you know, applying one, you know, and again, crushing and another one and another one, another one, another one, so that you really cover nicely the whole thing. But if you have a possibility, this one, of, uh, you are in the city or you were in the garden, so also like a pointed cabbage, Chinese cabbage, anything. Then you take the leaves.
and for this spot would be enough. You just, you see them, I do them like uh, uh, savines huh? in a can. <laughs> you crush it either like this or you may use this one. <laughs> It's about to um, um, uh, to break the structure huh, of the leaf because then the juice comes out huh, and you put even you see do with your hands and this is now Peter, you can't feel it but that's why we have a live class it's, <laughs> it's really cooling and there is a juice coming out so yeah. It's, mm -hmm. huh? This is how it feels. And again, huh? just uh, again, I'm using the cotton in order to keep it on the spot. Huh? And then with the again with the light bandage. <clears throat> you keep it on the yeah, on the spot where it needs to. Huh? The end, huh? And the end, just uh, the end you do fold it in, huh? And you take the hook. And goes voila. So we have a two. Fantastic. One is tofu, one is this one. How how does it feel? Then this one wise? is more colder. Oh, yeah. So that's much more. yeah, it's a colder, it has a much more cooling effect up huh, from the greens. Again, how long would you keep it? Maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then again, showing it away and putting the new one. Huh? Cooling off, cooling off, cooling off, cooling off. Because then I had it once also, uh, it's like, a, this doesn't happen in the last week, it's in the range of the 25 years. Uh, I fall down and I just went with my nose against the wall. <laughs> and uh, in order, and then I knew, okay, before I find a way, <laughs> because it was such a painful, I just managed to come to the kitchen to take the tofu and put it on my face. And then um, normally you would get this violet, red, green, blue spots. And I, because I kept the tofu constantly there the whole day, I had to go uh, to the office that time at the Cushing Institute, so, but no one couldn't see me behind the telephone. So I was pecked and then nothing was there. So it's amazing, the tofu does an amazing job on also the, the green leafy vegetables. And the last one is the, uh, Congo I wanted to show you, and that's actually, uh, let me, uh, this one we can do separately. Uh, everybody knows Congo, the sea vegetable, or seaweed, I don't like much of that name, but uh, this is a sea vegetable which can have a uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 meter long, huh? beautiful strips, different uh, um, uh, wide, width. width, different width. And I took uh, one and I uh, soaked it. Here it's already soaked like uh, one hour. You do it in the as less as possible water because then all the minerals can still stay on it. Can you see how? brought it become and it's when I try to pull it it's very elastic so from the the traditional medicine you would uh, say or it's very similar to your blood vessels to your veins so it's very very good for your veins huh? and it's very 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 mineral rich so what you would do on once, let me just push my hands. 
once you um, uh, are finished with the tofu cooling off, yeah, and that you can do, let's say, during the day, also the Chinese cabbage, but then during the night, what you can do, and I'm thinking where to apply now. <laughs> no, <laughs> I cannot, cannot say don't do it on my head. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, okay, let's take the just tofu. Yeah, yeah. No, just uh, a quick that you can see. We quickly take this one off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oops. Oh, so you see. <laughs> <laughs> and that normally also happens if imagine there would be some cut, you know, or bruise on the skin, it will also clean up the, the skin. Huh? So the, the possible blood and that kind of things would be here. But imagine that it would be bruises, then you also wash it first with the water. But then the combo, it gives the minerals to the skin. So which helps again to regenerate the skin and the spot. So either the skin or the um, bottom, uh, the, your bottom bones. In the, uh, bones, sorry, Dutch. <laughs> yeah, and you would gently, huh? also kind of wrap it, massage it in. You see, it is kind of green. You see it also here in green water, but it's okay. Yeah, and in this case, the tofu will go. Yeah, and again wrapping. And this you would leave uh, overnight. Huh? And then in the morning, you would take the combo off. It will be dry. Sometimes it uh, sticks to your skin. But nothing wrong, so don't, you don't have to tear it off. You just uh, make it wet a little bit and the combo gets again soft. So, um, yeah, fixed. Yeah. How does how this? It how feels does great. This? It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, didn't, uh, we didn't prepare this. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kayo. So this was the short uh, presentation of the pastors conferences. And now the, we have still now one minute, but so we will do <laughs> a, a quick version of the umeshokuzu because this is what I very much like to share with you because everybody should know it. And um, it's, it's good to have these umeboshis at home and also this kuzu, which is actually uh, starch alkalizing mineral rich starch from the plant kuzu plant it uh, grows in a four season climate so we just need to get it from japan here and let it uh, be the wheat here very quick this uh, kuzu is very soothing very alkalizing so again when you don't feel good either stomach ache or nauseous uh, diarrhea constipation it's good for any kind of condition in general huh? You will need, here, you will need actually one cup of water, but we use, you have many uh, recipes on this, but we do the quick one. So half a cup, we will bring to boil. Yes, yeah. In the rest of the cup, we will do, a heat spoon of kuzu. Like this. A little bit more. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. And um, meat always the kuzu. It's, it's similar like, of course, the arrowroot or the maizena, the cornstarch. You need to dilute it in the cold water because if you would do it in the warm, it just uh, shrinks and you can't, uh, you, you can't dissolve, you dilute, dissolve, you can't dissolve it. So this little meat, 
Then, um, let me just put it here for a moment. Yeah. And we will need one umeboshi. And, uh, this is boiling. I now want to show you. You see, this is the pit inside. No, because sometimes people say, ah, oh, but I don't have the time to make it or uh, whatever. This is just a pity we didn't put the stopwatch on. <laughs> um, can you see? Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. On a different turn. So the water is boiling. I have this diluted puzu. Now I have to steer, huh? steer it. So um, pouring it in. And uh, I don't know if you can count the oh yeah, you can. So that you see, it's kind of a milkish. Um, substance. I will just blow up the flame, and this milkish substance will change into the transparent. Can you see it? Yeah. So it becomes transparent, and it's kind of like a pudding-like um, substance. We lower the flame. I add now the, this one on my boshi. You know, sometimes, either if you don't have it, and you have a ume paste, which is the, well, the paste from the ume boshis, or you would have only a ume a vinegar, then it's also good. Yeah? So you let it just warm up. It doesn't have to cook anymore. We do like um, three drops of uh, tamari uh, or soya sauce, depending if you want to have it gluten free, to get to give their a bit more enzymes. And you serve, and you either you will see the consistency. If it's too thin, you may add a little bit more kuzu. If it's too thick for you, you add it uh, uh, less kuzu. And this is it. Yeah, umeshi kuzu. Ready to eat. You keep it, you eat it, you eat it warm. Sometimes you can take it with you for the, uh, to your work into the thermos. Huh? And still here. This is the pit. Oh. And there is this lovely seed. And it's also very uh, sour and salty. So you can eat it. Also, don't crush it with your teeth, but just like that, so that you have all. You can also dry them and then grind them later and make a condiment with it. It's nice on vegetables or on your noodles. Okay. So now the time. Uh, oh yeah, here the nettle tea has a very kind of naturally sweet also taste. It's very nice. Of course, what you do, you take this part out, yeah, and you drink it warm in the morning before the breakfast. So cheers! <laughs> and then this is the sari uh, sage sage tea. Of course, you also, this you take out. If it's the tea that you want to drink, you uh, do it directly. Uh, you drink it when it's warm. And otherwise, if you want to use it for your sore throat, to gurgle, gurgle, <laughs> yeah. So then you still uh, let it cool down a little bit. Uh, then it's, of course, nice. Uh, so another one, it smells delicious. So 
this one our drinks, the compresses. Let me wrap up for the um, some recommended literature. I have here five books I definitely like to show you. One it's Michio Kushi, Mark von Kallenberg, Mako Baltic Home Remedies. When you are open for really natural remedies, it's a wonderful book with many uh, uh, tips and it's divided on the uh, oh, there's a sit bars for the ladies, uh, either by the conditions or either by the ingredients. Very handy. Another one, of course, the doing, the auto massage, meaning massaging yourself. Either when you have nobody to massage you or there's no time or no finances for that, you can always do it yourself. It's so helpful. And it's, um, this is wonderful guiding book. So check this one. Another one for more the study in depth of the macrobiotics and oriental medicine. Book from Phil uh, Janetta and of course Michio. It's very uh, good, awesome. profound. You see all the acupuncture points, the energetic points, explanation, meridians, uh, all the systems uh, in the body, nervous system, lymphatic system, the respiratory system, etc. to understand better your body. Huh? Oh yeah, you could this mention as the Bible for the natural approach. Huh? The total macrobiotic path to total health. Very profound book. And last but not least, and this is my latest uh, 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 a teacher, I got this present from my husband, and I'm very grateful. It's from Nicole Appelian. She's a lady from uh, California, and the book, the lost book of herbal uh, remedies. This is a book which I always say everybody, oh, this is the calendula I have on the balcony here. <laughs> uh, everybody should know it's from the field, from the garden, from the forest, from your kitchen how to make all also natural poultices, tinctures, compresses, etc. Beautiful book, very handy, very good study material. So, okay, questions? No questions, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, we yes. give a time. can we give a time for two questions? Uh, I mean, two minutes questions? <laughs> two minutes of questions. questions. Go ahead. I have a question. Um, what is what it, what is the base oil and the ingredients that you used in the the oil that you said is your only cosmetic? Oh yeah, uh, so um, it's almond oil. Okay. You know, in the little uh, thing because the other one I gave away to my book uh, bookkeeper. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. I love my bookkeeper. <laughs> so it's an almond oil. Yeah, that's the that's the natural one. And then what right. I did, I think it was 100 milliliter, and I put just a little branch of the rosemary. You can do either okay. fresh or the dry. I did the, I think five cloves, <laughs> and then I Close. did just two cloves uh -huh, and two okay. dro drops of the lavender oil. Because okay, thank you. You know, this was this is a smell I love. Yeah, and you, everybody has a personal touch, but that's what right. I did. Thank so, you. Thank yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> And salt and baking soda, you use that? What's the proportion of the baking soda in the salt? Oh, let me check. I didn't do it myself. It's oh, ready -made. Um, it's, ready. it's ready made. It's ready. This one is already made, so I would need to figure it out for you. Uh, I will, you can Google Yenchura. Uh, Yenchura? Yenchura, uh huh. And you can find out the, 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 the proportions. But also like this one, it's you can use in your to brush your teeth, etc. So sometimes it depends, you know, how, how yeah, what is the place you like to treat, you know, and what is the amount? Is it a foot a top or is it your whole body top? But you can check on their website. They're wonderful website. Thank you. Thank you. Yarka. Okay. Yes. Um this thing in nettles. Uh, yeah. I was told that actually it's better to use like new growth 
the uh, nettles that are old growth. Is that true or does it not matter? Um, what is the... Oh, okay. Um, look, of course it matters. Uh, the certain parti partic uh, particles in the plants, when you dry them, they, of course, they become more concentrated. But this one are, you would say, most uh, com more compact. Huh? Anything what is then fresh, you see it like also on the fresh vegetables when you make greens, then when it's right cooked, you know, right serve, then there is still the vitamin C and other uh, minerals or vitamins you need. So uh, when you can have a fresh one, you use a fresh one. No? And actually the nettle, it grows through the whole year. And if the winter is not uh, strong, uh, you can have it also in the winter because it stays. But then, of course, it disappears. Uh, and you always use those, um, and then here, uh, the best is those tops uh, because they are the most young, most uh, fresh. Uh, so the fresh one is better. But when I didn't have it, I ordered, <laughs> so that you see in the kitchen, and I had no idea, oh my gosh, half a kilo did you know, this is such a big bag. <laughs> so uh, I can send you some. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the dried nettle. So I was okay. using it in the winter. You know, because also living in the city, where can you get, you know, the, 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 the places where there are no cars, no peeing dogs, etc. So <laughs> I go to uh, the one. You can also dry it yourself, huh? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you pick up the tops, huh? And the best is also like in the spring. Yeah. But when you have it in a garden, you're in the garden kind of forgotten corner, and you will be gentle with the picking. Huh? So it always comes new. So you can have the metal whole year on. Good. Thank you, Yarka. And I, I also say thank you, Yarka. It's an amazing okay. presentation. It was so, well done, professionally prepared. <laughs> we, <laughs> we really thank you thank very you. much for everybody. We spoke with Jean, uh, with Ginat. Maybe if you would like the ginger compress, but it's the really class on its own with the presentation. So we may do in the future. Okay, and thank okay. you very much, Ginat, for giving the space and welcoming uh, uh, Tomoko. <laughs> Bye. Yes, very good. <laughs>